terms of vaccines, uh, yeah, they're going to have 36 million doses, which will be enough for the population uh, over 30, uh, over 65. But they are not going to prioritize Tokyo or other Olympic venues. Um, so, you know, the communities around these areas are not going to be extra protected. In fact, you know, I, I guess uh, middle-aged people, like uh, I'm now becoming, are uh, probably going to be in the highest risk associated with this. Uh, and I don't know, maybe I'm just going to have to stay at home. They're still debating whether to allow foreign tourists to come and actually attend the games. They're going to make a decision on that by the end of March. Um, they're also debating about whether even Japanese can or should participate or if they should limit numbers or whatever. But again, everything points to this is going to be in the, the middle of another wave. So it seems to me like this is costing, the, these Olympics were supposed to cost 5 billion US dollars, but they're now costing 26 billion US dollars. And for what? You know, for something that could actually cause deaths? I mean, it just seems like a terrible idea. The other problem that I have now, and where I've really come around to thinking this is actually a terrible idea, is um, that also why this is happening. While this is happening, as I've pointed out recently, uh, six months after the Tokyo Olympics, we have the Beijing Olympics, uh, the Winter Olympics. And I, I, I think that if we weren't having the Tokyo Olympics a couple of months from now, and everyone wasn't focused on asking you know, um, is this even a good idea? Is it safe to go to these Olympics? Isn't it going to be dangerous? Isn't this a terrible idea? Are we really doing this? And that's the discussion that's happening around the Olympics. People are not asking the other question that they should be asking about, should we be having the Olympics in Beijing? Like, if there were no Olympics in Tokyo, everyone would be pointing out, when you've got 3 million, up to 3 million people in concentration camps in Xinjiang, um, when you've got the, the Chinese government announcing that they are changing the electoral system in Hong Kong to basically exclude all opposition, i.e. they're basically just shutting down the democracy there. Um, you know, with all the problems that you have happening in China and asking, I mean, would you, would you, when you know a country is in the middle of a genocide, you know, would you let Rwanda host the Olympics in the middle of, you would now, actually, Rwanda is doing amazing now, but would you, have, uh, would you have done it when you knew that there was a genocide going on there? And granted, I mean, I know it's a very big country, but three million people in concentration camps, I mean, people should be discussing this, and, and honestly, China should be getting killed for it, but I think that Tokyo is running interference for them right now and grabbing all the attention. So it's kind of funny, Japan is doing China an enormous favor, distracting uh, the discussions that should be being had about the Winter Olympics uh, at the start of 2022. Uh, no one's thinking about that because they're focused on Japan. In terms of vaccinations, uh, by the way, um, they are obviously the vaccines are being approved late. They're mostly being imported from overseas, so they're still coming in in smaller doses. I've seen people on the internet saying, well, why is Japan being so slow? You know, UK and America have already gotten through. I've already got my second shot. And congratulations to you on that. I would point out, though, that, um, you know, the UK and America, I mean, you get to be our hamsters, you know, our, our, our lab rats for the rest of the world, uh, because those were accelerated approvals. There was so much pressure to put those on. I'm OK with the fact that Japan is doing extra safety tests and trials and being actually careful to make sure that the Moderna, AstraZeneca and Pfizer uh, vaccines are safe before they start distributing them. Um, again, people getting antsy saying, hey, look, you can see people using it in America. We know it's safe. And it looks like it is. But I don't mind the fact, uh, you know, when, when the announcement came here that Moderna looks like they're going to get approval in May and people are saying, we can't wait until May. Other countries already have it. Yeah, if they're doing it to make sure that it's safe, I'm, I'm OK. You know, like I said, we've gotten through 12 months. It sucks. This whole thing sucks and I can't wait to get vaccinated. I'm resigned that I'm probably not going to be able to get vaccinated until at least like September or October. Um, but you know what? I'd, I'd rather be vaccinated in October than be vaccinated with something that wasn't safe or proven, you know, or experimentally now. I mean, I suppose if I had the opportunity to volunteer for an experimental, I might volunteer for a trial of a vaccine, although I don't really see a need for it. But, um, you know, for myself to do so. Um, but, um, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that they're getting it right here, frankly. So, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll wait my turn and I'll, I'll, I'll look forward to taking it. I'll definitely take it when it's ready. Uh, I'm not so antsy that Japan is, frankly, still going on an accelerated timetable. This is still faster than you normally do with any medical treatment, uh, but they're being a little bit safer about it than, frankly, they were being in other countries, and I'm, I'm glad about that, although congrats. I mean, it's actually amazing to hear that the UK is going to get everyone in the country vaccinated before June. I mean, that's actually amazing what they've achieved over there. Um, yeah, I know whenever I say something like that, UK, isn't UK doing a good job or something? Immediately a bunch of Brits start complaining about domestic politics there that I don't care about. I mean, in the end of the day, 
uh, I don't think Boris Johnson is personally, sh you know, vaccinating everybody. <laughs> it's the medical system, it's the doctors, it's the it's the whole system there that's doing it. And I think they've done a good job and they deserve credit for it. But, you know, I, I, I'm OK with the way it's happening in Japan, but it still is going to take a long time. So that's what's happening with the Olympics and COVID-19.